Hi everyone, Roy Neary from TDG Data Spinners and the Power Addicts. Today I'm going to do a really quick video on, it is definitely my favourite function, it's split. <clears throat> and I think basically, as you can see in the screen, I'm just going to combine um, one text box, another text box, and we're going to end up driving a drop down. I think that's quite a cool um, thing to be able to do. So let's move over. So here I am in Power Apps and we're just going to go for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a text input because I think that's going to be a bit more interesting. So I'm going to pop two text inputs. Um, so the first one is going to have a default of uh, all. And the second one, I'm just going to do a straight copy and paste of that. Um, and we're going to do a default of a B uh, pipe C D pipe E F. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate first of all just doing a basic drop down. So insert a drop down, drop down there. And what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to call this text input um, rename txt txt all. And I call this one uh, TX, TXT, I'll call it various. So what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to, just going to check which one's which yet. So I'm going to go onto the items and I'm going to do, uh, in order to populate the items, I'm going to take it and I'm going to split this and that's what's going to be the contents of this drop down. So the way that works is you get split and I'll put TXT various dot text and how we're going to split it we're going to split it by using the pipe function close the brackets and then well actually it's slightly odd um and this this actually has worked already i was expecting to do dot result on that um so you can see you've got a b c d e f quite nice now we can extend this further uh, so i'm going to do a slightly different one this time uh, and i am just going to do a concatenation so um, I'm going to do another drop down and what I'll do is my items I will do uh, con in fact I'm going to do split uh, what am I going to split and I'm going to split the concatenation of the two text boxes so txt um, all uh, oh, didn't work txt all dot text um, and then we're going to do and pipe and and then another and and then we'll do txt uh, or various dot text um, now it's a little bit upset here so I haven't actually concatenated anything so I need to just in fact, it should. You don't need commas on concatenate. You have to put. Um, sorry, you don't need ands on concatenate. So this is us doing a concatenation, and then now I'm going to um, do the split function using the pipe. And if I close the brackets at this point, what we get is we get all a b c d e f, and um, and I can just keep adding them in. Uh, you know, just put some odd little characters in here and what you can see is those things go into there now so this is a really basic um usage but actually the the, the way in which there's so many ways in which you can use this because in reality you've got a single field that has created a table and you can do all sorts of things with that you can do lookups on the items in the table and all sorts so um yeah i hope you found this useful and i will see you again sometime soon Thank you.